previously on Teen Mum. So I haven't ruined your life, I haven't broke your heart. I made this happen, or split or not right. Oh, it is the best it. decision oh, I've ever made. Been... Go. We're not together at the moment. It's complicated. If you pick her, pick her. But don't expect for me to be there. No, I know what I want. I know I want to stay with her. That's what it is. Oh, I can't be in here because I'm going to chuck this phone at your face. I can't do it. My body to me looks like a big fat mess. It makes me sad that I can't like, just be a normal teenager. And I am currently pregnant. I'm going to be like a Buddha, obviously giving birth. I'm not going to scream. I might like be like, ow. It feels like. Every bone in your body is being broken at the same time. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> what is funny? Dylan just proposed to me. How could you sleep with my best friend in our car a day before you asked me to marry you? I told you this was going to happen. So what are you going to do? I don't know. It's been 24 hours since I found out Dylan cheated on me. I've been doing a lot of crying and a lot of thinking, and now I've made a decision. I am going to stay with him and I'm going to try and make it work because obviously I do love him. I don't want to end things with Dylan because I know what it's like to grow up without both parents. And it's horrible. It is horrible having to wait for a dad that doesn't turn up on the weekends when your mum is telling you, oh, daddy's coming to pick you up. So you get all excited and then he doesn't turn up. And I don't want to have to put Mackenzie through that. I can read all those pictures now. Even though I'm staying with Dylan, it doesn't mean I've forgiven him. You all right? Um, can you feed the baby so I can dish up dinner, cos it's done? But I've got to start talking to him about how I feel. Just so you know, I still really hate her and hate you. I'm just glad you're, you're still here and ain't, like, gone to a mum's own hands and you're actually trying to... Well, if Kenzie wasn't here, then I wouldn't still be here. I am sorry. Do you think I'm sorry, or do you think...? Well, yeah, I know you're sorry, but it doesn't make it better, does it? And you know I wouldn't do it again, right? You said you wouldn't do it in the first place, so... I didn't. I was stupid. There's always going to be that doubt that you might do it again. And that's your fault. Just need to get through the rough patch and try and move on. Well, I just want to go back to how he was before. Obviously, but... You put a layer all out, you can't just boil it up and not talk to anyone about it. Well, I don't like being upset all the time. I'm two weeks past my due date, and today I'm being induced. <sighs> Am I forgetting something? I can't wait to push our baby Marley out naturally, and I want to be calm like a Buddha. So exciting, we're gonna have a baby. Everyone keeps saying to me, like, oh, are you nervous about giving birth? But I think because I haven't been through the pain before, I don't even know what to expect. So Manny keeps saying to me, yeah, you're gonna be awful because you're a drama queen. And I really, really wanna like not be a drama queen and not let and I want everyone to be like, oh you did really well. <sighs> and this is my labour face. That's my pushing face. Bye Max! Don't forget, phone me straight away. Yeah, I will. Oh, my God! You're going to have a baby. No, don't. Oh. Lily, I am so... I'm literally shaking. That's how scared I am. Why are you scared? Oh, it's scary. It's not scary. How are you feeling about me? I just can't wait to see her. I can't wait to see her!
I can't believe that soon I'll get to hold my little Malia and actually see what she looks like. She's looking at Daddy. <laughs> Are you scared yet? I am literally shaking. <laughs> Me and my ex Steve are planning our son's christening, which is hard. Every time we meet, we fight because Steve can't accept we're over. Come on, dude. You are still not trying not. to cling on to me, right? You are still trying no, to control I'm not. my no, life. I'm not. Today we have a date with a vicar to look round a church and I don't want us kicking off. Hi. Hello. Hi. Oh wow. Okay, this so is Club Brooklyn. Hello Brooklyn. So I think it's great. I like this church. On the uh, I don't know, aisles, is it? Yeah. Um, is there any chance to put like little sticky flowers or something and like photos around? Yeah. OK, um, not been asked to do that before, but I can't see there'd be a well, particular problem. Yeah. It's just like decoration. <laughs> what the, uh, the baptism is about, of course, is um, you bringing Brooklyn up in such a way that he's um, part of um, the Christian church. Yeah. He will be baptised by me pouring water over his head. Uh, well, actually, it's we have had one or two who have gone paddling in afterwards. Oh. <laughs> Obviously, he'll be getting christened, but none of us are christened. Right, OK. Um, I didn't realise you weren't baptised yeah, yourself. Not okay. no. And Amber, you're not? No, no, I'm not. OK. Um, at least one of you needs to be baptised as well. Can a family not get christened? Yeah, 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 we can. No, if all three of you are saying yes, then I think then we would talk seriously about having you all baptised together. Yeah. Should go ahead with this, then? Yeah. We'll talk about getting some dates booked in. If, yeah, that's OK. Nice to see Amber. Thanks, Thanks Bart. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. And you. So far, so good. I think me and Steve can do this. Even though we're getting christened, it's really Brooklyn's there. <laughs> no arguments or anything. No, we won't argue, Amber. You, I'll wake up knowing it's my son's day. Why would I think I want to argue with you? No, I know. I'm just... We're not bothered anymore, are we? No. It's easier. Right. Well, I'm, I'm glad we did this anyway. Come on. Say bye to your church. Brooklyn, bye. That went way better than I expected. Me and Steve didn't fall out, and all three of us are having a family christening. A christening! <laughs> Caring for a 14-week-old baby 24-7 is so much harder than I thought it'd be. Tell Mama, this one's a little bit tight. <laughs> While my boyfriend Jordan and my mum go to work, I'm trapped in an endless round of feeding, changing nappies and cleaning up. Everyone's like, sleep when he sleeps. I don't even get a chance because I have to do other things. I get up, I wash the parts, I make the bed, I make sure the bedroom's always tidy, sterilise bottles. Oh my God, my hands like get sore because I wash the pots so much. I know the lack of sleep isn't helping, but I don't feel I'm coping. I'm miserable most of the time, oh. and I'm worried it's more than just the baby blues. I've been bottling things up, and I need to start being honest about how I'm feeling. Some days I wake up and I don't even know what's wrong, and I just want to cry and, like... Like, I feel so depressed. It's unbelievable. I'm fat. I have, like, I can't go out. I have hardly any sleep. I feel like no one wants to listen to me. I feel like it's like, you like, oh, shut up, you're just being stupid. That's how I feel. And not just you, Jordan, Dad, everyone. I don't think I do. Oh, you're like one of the worst. <gasps> I'm gonna be honest, like, I feel like when I'm talking to you, you're just like, yeah, yeah. No. I'm sorry, I don't agree. Why? No. Why? I think that's quite hurtful. Really? Honestly. Why oh, are you making me feel like a bad mum? Well, you're not a bad mum, are you? The best mum in the world to me. I'm not being horrible. I'm just saying well, so you know, like and then you horrible. can change. So you so you realise. Yes, you help out with Marley, but I do 99.9 percent .9 of the time have him and look after him and do everything. Feel like I've got no one, and you're not even saying what's annoying me the most 
You haven't once said, yeah, Chloe, maybe I should listen to you a bit more. Yeah, Chloe, maybe I should listen to you oh a bit God, more. Oh, my God, I'm going to chuck this at bottom of your head. I hate lashing out at Mum, but I feel so crap about everything, I don't know what else to do. I'm in the labour ward waiting to be induced. My peaceful birth has already been ruined because me and Manly have fallen out over his daughter. Alea is the baby Manly had with his ex-girlfriend and he wants her to be here when our baby's born. If I want Alea here, it's up to me. I thought, obviously, it's our first day being born. Manly's had his first day with Alea being born. I just thought, obviously, he'd just want to spend the day with the baby, not Alea. I feel like I'm leaving Alea out so because you want me to be with Manly now. I feel like Mia's being jealous and don't want Alea here because she wants me to make, be more attached to Malia. Obviously, Mia's thinking, I want you to give Malia the same amount of attention as what you give to Alea. But I was just looking at it as it's my first day in the hospital. I would have just had a baby. I didn't, one, I didn't think you could even bring babies to the hospital anyway. So it's nothing to do with that. I know it's not. It's jealousy. And That's it's all not it is. It's not at all. It is. Alea and Amalia are both your kids. Malia is, uh, is Mia's. Mia's main priority is Malia. She loves Alea, but I mean, me is... But it is, though, man. It's her blood. It's her child. You've got to be feel like that. If it carries on like that, then obviously we're not going to work out, then, are we? It is such a hard situation. Because I'm going to love both my kids the same way. Me is going to be like that, and I'll just have to be by myself, won't I? And take care of them both like that. I came in here to have a baby, but the way we're going, I could be leaving here without a boyfriend. I know that she's going to try arguing with me. This little thing you two had going on. I don't like it, yeah? I still haven't fully forgiven him for what he done, but it's a fresh start. No, babe, babe, tell him to stop. Tell him to stop! Whoa! I think it looks all right. I'm making your blush. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like I failed you tonight being the good No! Turner's dad, Raphael, has been seeing me and another girl. And the last time I saw him, he told me he picked her over me. No, I know what I want, I know I want to stay with her. That's all it is. Oh, I can't be in here because I'm going to chuck this phone at your face. I can't do it. I'm sick of it! I'm sick of you! He just should have just been honest with both of us from the start. If you wanted to be with her, he should have just told me. Naomi, I want to be with her. I don't want to lead you on, but I do want to be with her. I do have something for you still there, but... I think we should just leave it. So I didn't try to be more than friends with him kind of thing. I'm so angry with Raphael that I've done something I shouldn't. I've rang the other girl, Inez, and I told her Raphael had been sleeping with me behind her back. And now Inez wants to meet me. She wants to have a talk with me. I know that she's gonna try arguing with me and try saying, oh, why did you let him sleep over, blah, blah. Really and truly, she shouldn't be arguing with me. She shouldn't be fine with me. I'm the one who told her. He was never going to tell her. I've never met Innes before, and I'm really nervous. You're right. Hi. You're right. Yeah. I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool right now, innit? I'm fine. This little thing you two had going on, like, I'm, it had to take me some time to calm down because after everything that was happening, and I was just, it was just all processing in my head, and I was just like, I want to kill the both of them. I'm, I'm just being honest with you, innit? Yeah, obviously, I know that it's not just his fault. I know it's mine yeah. as well, yeah? yeah? And I swear down, it wasn't intentionally what I did, like, when I called you. I wasn't meant to embarrass you or anything like that. It was just in the moment, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't know nothing about you two, innit? Yeah. I just... Obviously, over the past weeks, I was thinking, you're talking to her a bit too much. I don't like it, yeah? The, the way I feel, like, towards you right now, I just feel a bit like what's happened is I just feel like this girl's been a bit fake yeah. because you knew about me and him. Yeah. 
I'm not doing it to try flipping push you lot away from each other. I'm yeah. just doing it to make you notice that he is like he's just a liar. Yeah, I know. It's like he's nice just a liar. Mm. I know that um, you start feeling for him, innit? I know that, yeah. and it's normal. Like that's your baby for a while. Mm. I, I can't say no. Don't have feelings. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I know this guy. I pro I honestly feel like he doesn't love anyone. He just himself. thinks it by himself. Yeah, it's just, it's just himself. He's a player. Yeah. And that's it. So that's what I told him. Like, if you think we're ever getting back together, it's probably in a hundred years. Yeah, I know. Why can't we just have kids by ourselves? I think we'd both be better off without Raphael. If me and Dylan are going to survive, something's got to change. So I'm scrapping the card Dylan cheated on me in. So yeah! Yeah! <laughs> and after six months camped in Dylan's parents' drive. No, babe, babe, tell him to stop. Tell him to stop. Whoa! We're moving the caravan to a proper park down the road. <laughs> Nearly out. Go. Babe, let's go. <laughs> Lift the boxes in. I want this to be a new start, so I'm pulling out all the stops. I'm surprising Dylan with a cosy night in to give our love life a kick up the bum. So, done Dylan a bit of a housewarming gift. I've done him all this. A little photo frame. The balloon. I still haven't fully forgiven him for what he's done, but it's a fresh start and just for make the most of it. I've made him his favourite food. Hey babe. Why are you dressed up? Well, I've done a surprise for you. I think you a nice meal. What have you done wrong? Wrong. You must have, because this is like... What? I don't know, this is a bit... It's just because we moved, it's like a housewarming gift. Surely I should be doing something like this for you. Yeah, well, you're not thoughtful, so hey-hey. Maybe. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. Cheers, babe. Cheers. Cheers, babe. Pass the salt, please. You know what? I think we could be happy here. Today we're looking for suits for our family christening. Me and Steve don't normally hang out, let alone go shopping together. But I'm making an effort for Brooklyn's sake. Do you think I should wear the same as Brooklyn? Because if I should. That would be cute if he was. Like them jeans would fit me easily. I really like that. I don't like grey. Like Sorry. Right, so I won't wear grey. I don't wear grey. Why don't you try them on anyway? Because then at least if I look at you on them, I can imagine what Brooklyn will look like. I'll just try them on there. Amber. I think it looks right. That's nice. Truthfully. That a button door. I think it's the best I've ever seen, yeah. Really? <laughs> That's why I wear a suit every day. Amber. No, I like that one. This one? Yeah. I like it. Oh, you look really nice. Do I? Yeah, actually, you actually look like a different person. You keep you getting all red. I know. Aww, I'm making you blush. I think you look really nice. I can smell your bloody feet, though. <laughs> wow, Steve looked good in a blazer, and I actually quite enjoy spending time with him. Oh, well, that was really fun. I like it. Huh? I like it. Yeah, it's all touching my flabby arm. Oh, well, they're not flabby arm. Yeah, they are. We're fine. Look at Wish you could hold me down. I'm feeling more and more depressed, so I've booked to see a counsellor. Morning. Morning. It's my first Good. session today. I'm tired. But I'm not feeling it. <gasps> Seems that someone woke me up at five o'clock and only just went back to sleep. I am not looking forward to counselling at all. 
Mum's taking me there, but this is something I have to do on my own. Everything's a rush. Always. I'm scared, but I'm looking forward to spilling my heart out instead of ranting at my family. So I had my first counselling session. I actually enjoyed it. I actually loved the fact that I could just let out everything I was thinking. I feel a bit, I don't know, it was nice to be able to just talk, 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 talk and actually feel like someone was listening to me. So did you tell her about when you were pregnant and how you were feeling? I just like said about all my friends going out and I just had to stay in. Yeah, I went for a coffee now and again, but it was so hard to go from doing, like going out whenever I wanted, doing whatever I wanted. Because I did, I went out all the time to nothing. Yeah, but there was no need to hide though, was there? I did though, my anxiety was ridiculous. I was so scared of seeing. And did you tell the lady this? I feel better now though. Like when I came out, I felt good. Better. That's the word I'd say, I, I feel better. I've got a long way to go before I feel myself, but it was good to talk to someone. Hey. Now that I'm in labour, oh. I couldn't care less about me and Manly's silly row earlier. I've been having horrendous contractions for an hour and I don't think I'm cut out to be a bidder after all. Oh, this is so horrible. I'm ready for it to be over now. They are going to get quite intense, OK, as you, you're experiencing at the moment, OK? Um, no, the baby, she's not going to come yet, OK? You were, you know, you were two centimetres at half past three, OK? So we've got quite a way to go yet, darling, to you. We'll try the gas and air. OK, we'll yeah. do that then. That's no problem. OK. So wait for that next contraction to start. Nice deep breaths, that's it. Well done. OK, how was that? Yeah, yeah, she's got a smile on her face <laughs> now. <laughs> well done, Mia. <sighs> The pain's getting much worse. My dad and Maggie have arrived, but what I really need is for this pain to start. I wanted to do it naturally, but now I'll take whatever drugs they can give me. The doctors know that you want an epidural, you're on the list and they're going to be in as soon as they can, OK? Mm -hmm. You're doing amazing, darling, you really are, OK? Right. I failed in my epidural. No! No, no, no. My perfect birth is slipping away, but I just want my baby out. It was a bit muggy. It's a little bit muggy of him to go and sleep with your best yeah, friend. Yeah, I know, I know. I want you two to sort it out, Dylan. And I'm just going to have to argue with her. Are you just put down on everything now? You. You're horrible. OK. That's really bad, isn't it? I'm going to go and speak to the doctors. Oh. I've finally forgiven Dylan for cheating on me, but my mum's blanking him, and I'm stuck in the middle of the two people that I love the most. Should we go and have something to eat? Yes. So, dare I ask how Dylan is? Well, he texted you, didn't he? Yep. And you didn't text him back? No. He's not very happy and about he that. And he he's not very happy about that, isn't he? Nah. 
It was a bit muggy. I know well, you probably it's don't want to talk to him. It's a bit muggy of him to go and sleep with your best yeah, friend. I know, I know. So I know on he's scale in the of wrong. Mugginess from one to ten. <laughs> I think he needs to wind in his mugginess. Yeah. You don't want to pick up the phone and dial my telephone number because he thinks that I'm going to go crazy. Right. But rather than deal with the crazy, we'll send a text message and then say to you, I'm angry. Mm. I am disappointed in that boy. He is a bright, clever, intelligent boy and I just don't understand whatever possessed him to do that. Neither do I. Especially as soon as you have a child together. Mm. Yeah. I will speak to him at some point. Well, I'll have to because I need to come over and see where you are. I bet he'll love that. <laughs> I don't think this is going to end well. Both my mum and Dylan can be really stubborn. It's my birthday and I want to keep it low-key. But Steve says he's coming round with a little something. Come in. Hello. Hi. Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh me, I'm Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolates for you. I know you like chocolate. And there's some flowers. Those are pretty, thank you. Oh, have you had a good day? Yeah. Not been stressed, have you? No. <laughs> yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, look, thank you. But you're right, like a two-year-old. <laughs> I bet you don't share them forever, Rosh and you, will you? Huh? Do you like them, truthfully? Yeah. They actually look really nice. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Brooklyn. Say bye-bye. Wave. Say thank you. That's all right. All right, bye. See Thanks, Steve. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy me and Steve are finally getting along. But I hope he doesn't get the wrong idea. I know I'm not going to get back with him, as I've lost my feelings for him, and I know that he still has feelings for me as much as he says he doesn't. But at the end of the day, I can't help my feelings. But just to see us getting on, like, really good. Like, I'm hoping that it stays this way. <laughs> When it comes to Raphael, I feel like my emotions are on a permanent roller coaster. What do you want from this? Because, like, where, where are you at now with Raphael? To be honest, really and truly, I wish in a way that I could just turn back time and just could have made it work, work out with us. Maybe none of this would have happened if I hadn't broken up with him just after Kiana was born. Do you kind of regret yeah. your decision? Yeah, I think I think at the time I was just a bit care not careless, but I broke up with him in it. Yeah. When I gave birth, a few days at the hospital, oh my god, I forgot to tell you. He burnt my toast at the hospital, yeah, and I went mad. <laughs> I went sick. I was like, I've been burnt my toast, I haven't even eaten all morning, and he just burnt my toast, and that's it. Since then I knew that I should break up with him because he was just not being good enough kind of thing. Yeah. But now that I'm thinking back to it, I think I should have stuck it out for a bit more and seen what what happened kind of thing. So if I could go back and change it, maybe I would be with him and everything would just be fine with us, you know what I mean? As part of our fresh start, tonight me and Dylan are going out just the two of us. Um, excited for date night. I'm just doing my nails. Um, I've just dyed my hair, re like done my roots because I was coming through. I haven't got Mackenzie though. He's with my mum for the night, which feels a bit weird because I've never like not had him sort of. So missing him a little bit. <laughs> what is that? Little bubble. You really gonna go out like that? I had it like this the other day, okay? Go away. Shh. Do you have your hand? Thanks. I've never <laughs> used chopsticks before. <laughs> You're useless. 
For me and Dylan to properly move on, he needs to make up with my mum. My mum said that she wants to come around and see you. Yeah? Maybe tomorrow. Well, I don't really get what she wants to chat about. Well, the whole situation was happened with you and her. I want you two to sort it out, Dylan, because it's awkward for me. Obviously, yeah, I'm in the wrong for what I did. But if she starts turning that around, then I'm just going to have to argue with her. I'm not picking a side. It's your issue. You text her and she didn't reply. She was out of order for that, yeah? Yeah, she was out of order for it, but you were ten times more out of order for cheating on me, so... I know, but what's that got to do with her? I'm her daughter. So? What do you mean, so? so now she's Obviously, been... she's going to be fuming at you because I'm her child. I think we should stop talking about that now and just enjoy being out without a child. That sounds horrible, but... Like, just some us a time. A moment of freedom. <laughs> oh, I'm getting early night and they're laying in the morning. Oh, you've got to go work. So, so I'll have a lane in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> the imitations I designed for me, Steve, and Brooklyn's family christening are ready. Right, they're all done for you. I love them. They're really nice. Oh, the beautiful. Thank you. There's you and Daddy. You and Mummy. And you! I'm so proud of myself, and I can't wait to show them to stay. Alright, go on. So, I'm not ready yet. How long am I keeping my eyes shut for, Amber? Right. right Pass it me on. Two. Pass it me on. More, oh, there's loads. <laughs> right, I think they're mint, yeah? But why ain't you got three of us? You've got you and Brooklyn, and you've got a picture of me and Brooklyn, and then you've got Brooklyn. You ain't got me, you and Brooklyn. It's like a fan picture of me and Brooklyn. How bad is that? Yeah. I just needed them done today. Wow, it's the first ever thing we're doing as a family, and on the invitations, you don't even have a family picture. Yeah, but I really like it, and I don't, I, 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 don't, I don't really think that what the big problem is with putting a picture of me, you and Brooklyn on. Steve needs to accept that we'll always be a family. But we're not a couple anymore. Yeah. Yeah. The more I look at it, the more it's like, right, yeah, we're single, aren't we? Crack on. Yeah. I'm clearly not happy about it. I'm not happy one. I'm not happy, to be honest. I'm really happy with them, mate. You just put down on everything now. Honestly, I ain't giving them out. You can keep them, yeah. I'd rip them up. I don't even want to do all this now with you and pretend we're being all nice. Okay. You're horrible. Okay. A joint christening was supposed to bring us together. Well, this reminds me why we broke up in the first place. Every single thing that I didn't want happened. My heart is beating so fast. Well, I think you guys will get back together. Yeah, I really don't think so this time. Oh, God. Raphael. You're in the wrong. You still want to argue? Raphael's over to see our daughter, Kayana. And I want to know if he's single or he's got back with the other girl. Um, how's Innes then? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I think you guys will get back together, to be honest. Like, it's happened so many times now. Yeah, well, I, don't think, yeah. I really don't think so this time. I know I shouldn't, but I still have feelings for Raphael. And when we're together, it's obvious he still has feelings for me too. He's just been acting really nice to me and after I went into the bathroom and I had a bath whatever and I locked the door and he kept on trying to come in and he kept putting note letters through the door and stuff like this little heart and then this saying sorry this one says I want to hug you first like before he goes home 
please <laughs> please <laughs> oh god Raphael he's just something else he's really something else <laughs> I just can't deal with him I'm leaving Ah, bye. Counseling's helping me deal with my depression. And now I want to start doing something about my post baby body. Oh my god. 12 and a half stone, mummy's fat. <laughs> yes! I've started my diet today. So, two shakes a day, two vitamins, and two carb blockers. I am so motivated now. I am going to lose weight. I am, my goal is a stone in a month. So watch me, I can do it. <laughs> I'm so unfit! But after a long day looking after a baby, it's really hard to stick to a diet. Pizza, pizza, pizza. I think I have a pizza addiction. Oh my god, we have never ordered this much food. My arm! Pizza is amazing and I just want to eat it all the time. This is amaze balls. I literally feel sick. Like there's just one slice left and it's just sitting there like, eat me, eat me. I'm going to put working out on hold for a bit. Right now, chilling with Jordan and Molly is more important than stepping on the scales. Have you got any more room for cookies? Yeah, always. <laughs> Dylan and my mum have been on a standoff for weeks. Two. But today, she's coming over to have it out with him. <sighs> sort of nervous in a way, cos I really, really don't want it to kick off. She should not go as crazy as I sort of know she wants to and just hold back a bit. Come in! Hello. Hello. You're right. huh? So, when you send someone a text message, saying, I don't want to call you because I don't think that you'll answer. Yeah. You'll never know if they'll answer or not if you don't actually put their effort in and call. And it, to my mind, if you're that bothered, you'd have called me 18 times if you were that worried about my opinion. Because the only person who's let it go on this long is you. Yeah, I'm not that fussed, to be honest. Do you know what? That really, really disappoints me and upsets me quite a bit with you. You're, you're Megan's mum and I want to be civil with you because... It's otherwise it's just going to make it really awkward for her, but other than that, I'm not fussed. Why would I call you? I didn't sleep with anybody behind my daughter's back. But I, I text you. I text you, you text and tried. me. I tried. One text message does not constitute trying. You're in the wrong. You still want to argue. I've done nothing wrong. No, I didn't say that, and I am in the wrong, and I will admit that to anyone. I did do wrong. So I'm, I'm, but I'm confused. I'm not the only person who's What did you want me to come in here world? today and say to you, Dylan? And we are going to be family at some point, I presume. Clearly, the only effort you're going to require is to put in with Megan, which is fine because she's your girlfriend, but you have an extended family. That clearly you couldn't give two about. Well, I, I obviously do, because you are, like, when we get married, we will be family, but it's just... Oh, and what a joyous occasion that will be. Won't it, at the minute? Well, we're still not going to get married tomorrow, are we? No. I don't want to break your family up. And if you think, Megan, that you can live with this, then that's your decision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, au revoir. Bye. Goodbye. That was horrible, but at least it's over, and I hope somehow we can move on from this.
four hours into my labour, I've had an epidural. The pain's easing, but there's still no sign of the baby. There hasn't been a lot of change from your last um, examination. You're still two to three centimetres. OK, um, we would really expect you have to make a little bit more progress than that, OK? And I'm going to go and speak to the doctors and um, find out what it is they think should be our next course of action. That's really bad, isn't it? That's really bad, isn't it? Not really bad, no. Just, I, I did think it had progressed a bit more. Do you have to have a cesarean? Hi. Do you have to have a cesarean? I wouldn't go that far, yeah. My worst fears are coming true. My baby's heartbeat is dipping, so I can't have a natural birth. Do you understand why we need to do the cesarean section today? Yeah. There's just a few signs on the CTG trace that just suggest that baby's sort of a little bit compromised at the moment. Um, so taking everything into consideration, I think it would be the best way to deliver your baby. Every single thing that I didn't want to happen. It's all right. It's, it's amazing. You're well, little one's well. in a minute. I'm sad not to push my baby out, but as long as she's fit and healthy, that's the main thing. Oh, I can't believe we're going to have a baby here. Yeah. 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 I can't believe it's over, and I'm a mum now. She just seems so small. She is stunningly beautiful. Well done, Mia. Okay, so she is seven pounds three. Yes. Our little Princess Malia is perfect. Dreams behind. My baby gonna be a model. Are you being serious? Yeah. Why don't you tell me? Molly! <laughs> oh, I think you're gonna do it again. I'm just gonna have to prove you wrong, and I. I've got to be careful with like who I do decide to like bring into my life. I hear the people making comments about me behind my back. Like, that's obviously heartbreaking, but I need mum to hear. So why on earth have you bought a horse? See your back with Raphael then. We're going back together. <laughs> why do you still care? You just said you don't care. Yeah, well, I do. Genuinely don't want to talk to you right now. I just feel like I, I think I do is right.